Hi friends, happy Thursday. You guys, how's it going? How are we doing with our 90 day agreement? I missed like four or five days of meditating and quite a few days of recording my book of proof, but who cares? So what? This morning on our Zoom, a couple of the gals said that, you know, they've also been struggling a bit. Who cares? Okay, this is not an experiment in perfection. This is, like I said, a 90 day snapshot into your imperfect, messy, irregular journey. Things are gonna happen. You're gonna get sick. You're gonna go on vacation, holidays, birthdays, whatever. Things are gonna happen to derail you because this is just life. But the lesson comes in how we pick up again and how we begin again. I don't even wanna say begin again because that, that implies that there's been some kind of failure and there's been no failure. There is hopefully an awareness around what happened and why you got off track. For me, it was being sick and just being in a really negative headspace and not caring. And it doesn't feel good to be in that place. I lived in that place for years and years and years. Like I was the most negative shit person and I just called myself a realist, but I was very negative and very stuck. And living that way didn't feel good and it probably didn't make people wanna be around me. I don't like myself. So if that's where you're at, hey girl, hey, you're exactly where you need to be and now you can recommit or realign, refocus on the stuff, maybe even tweak what your promise is if you're like, this is just not a realistic promise, then it's okay to dial it back. It's okay to pivot it. It's okay to change it entirely. This is your journey, okay? This is your journey. So there's no space for shame. There's no, there's no need to like journal and catch up on all the days, whatever. I miss how many days of meditation and how many days in my book of proof. That's what this is that we're doing. This is your book of proof, okay? It's your three wins a day. It's actually your book of proof that you can and that you are and that you're capable of doing the thing that you wanna do, all right? So that's where we're at, okay? It doesn't, it's Thursday. You're not gonna wait for next week. Mondays are, people, we put way too much pressure on a Monday. You don't need a Monday, you just need today. So what was your promise? Is it actually realistic for this part, this little portion of your life right now that you're living? And do you need to kind of tweak it and realign it? For me, meditating, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get back on the horse. I'm gonna do it. I still haven't done it yet today, but it's on my to-do list. I've made a post-it. I put it in front of my face and I'm going to do it. Even if it means two minutes of total squirrel brain, it's my promise and I'm worthy of keeping that. I'm worthy of honoring it. I don't need to shame myself. I don't need to beat myself up. I don't need to overthink it. I just need to take action. I think that if a lot of us spent less time compiling a plan and more time, put more time and energy into just taking messy and perfect action, we would actually get the results that we're all wanting and jealous of. I made a couple posts today on social media. If you follow me, you should go look at my stories because I've, I've talked about this before. There's a Glennon Doyle quote that you should follow wherever your envy is, you should follow that. Whatever you're envious of, whatever you're jealous of, are you actually jealous? Are you actually envious? Or is it kind of unearthing something in you that makes you feel disappointed in yourself because you're not living up to your best potential or you're coming up with excuses or you're playing small? I'm still doing that in my life. Right now, there's this massive leadership event. Uh, it's a Beachbody thing. The top 200 coaches in the network are invited. And every year, I'm like, I'm going to be at that event. <laughs> I'm not at that event. I'm in my living room in Montana. And I was really pissed off about it yesterday. I was so annoyed and discouraged and like almost there's been chatter in my brain of just quitting this and walking away. But at the end of the day, I love this. I love this. And it's part of who I am. So the question that I'd ask myself, if this is really who you are, if this is really part of who you are and your vision, then it's time to like take massive fucking action and do the things. And maybe in your life, you need to take some massive fucking action and stop coming up with these excuses that I'm too busy or I don't have enough sleep or I can't get up early or whatever. You know, excuses are legitimate. They're valid. It's true. You probably are busy and it is really a sacrifice to get up early. And you probably have a legitimate 
million and 500 things to do. But at the end of the day, this is your one most precious life. And are you just going to kick the can down the, the street and be like, well, next quarter or next year or next whenever, when things slow down, things will never slow down. They, that is a lie. They will never slow down. We just have to figure out how to prioritize our journey and how to show up to it in a way that feels good, but also serves us. So I don't want you to ever go all in with your journey at the sacrifice of your mental health and sleep and all the things. It is truly this like, it's a dance and you have to learn how to like navigate it and how to make it kind of, you know, what's the word? You have to find the flow of it. And there'll be times when it's, there is no flow and you're like, seriously have five left feet and it's sucking. And then there'll be times where you're like, wow, like this feels really natural and good. And I'm so proud of myself. So that's the purpose of this, of your book of proof. That's the purpose of you logging your three wins every single day, even if they don't necessarily have anything to do with what you made your promise, whatever your 90 day agreement is. But it's just shifting your, your filter because your brain is a filter, you guys, and it's going to seek out proof that you're either winning or you're losing. And that is why it's so important to be constantly bringing in positivity, constantly surrounding yourself with other people who have what you, what you want to have. Like, don't be jealous of that. If you are jealous of it, that's your nudge to take some action and to, to pivot some area of your life, right? So three things, three ways you're winning. And the more you do this, the easier it will get. There will be some days that are tricky. I've been doing my book of proof or my three wins for a very, very long time. And it's easy now. I, I, it's just easy because I've worked that muscle. I've tried to rewire parts of my brain. I'm still a work in progress. Clearly, I'm still a huge work in progress. But it's just kind of that reminder that if there's something in your life and you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling jealous or you're feeling resentful because it must be nice for them, this is your not so gentle nudge today to be like, okay, you are the superhero in your life. I can't get results for you. I can't show up at your house. Some of you aren't even replying to my text messages, which is actually kind of rude. <laughs> shame on you. You should reply to me. There, but that's where the shame is. That's where you're at. You're in this like shame cycle and you're overthinking it. And I don't fucking care if you haven't gotten traction. I don't care if you haven't started. There's no judgment. It's simply me saying, I believe in you and I want you to do the next right thing. And maybe the next right thing is as simple as drinking water. Maybe the next right thing is as simple as writing your three wins. Maybe the next right thing is as simple as saying, I'm going to stop overthinking this and I'm just going to do it. Even if I have to modify it, even if I have to just barely squeeze by, it's okay. It's your journey. It, it doesn't need to look like anyone else's, but it needs to be yours. And you need to take ownership of it and you need to freaking show up to it. And you should probably reply to my text messages before I show up at your house. Okay, cool, cool. So anyway, um, that's where we're at. I'm gonna do my book of proof. I have my, you're gonna meditate. Yes, you are, Sarah. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna do a couple of things that serve me. And I'm reminding all of you that you're exactly where you need to be today. Even if you're like, I am behind, I don't feel like I am, I am struggling. Sister, you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. You're not behind. You're not too far gone. You're not, it's not a lost cause. You're exactly where you need to be. So do something today and then collect all your proof that you are in fact on the right track. You are on the right track. You can do this. Absolutely 100%. No doubt about it. So that elite thing next year the leadership conference, who's coming with me? <laughs> who's going to go? I'm so excited. We really do get to do epic things as coaches, but at the end of the day, it always comes back to our job is our job is our journey. My job is my journey. And when things are off kilter in my life, it usually means that my journey is off kilter and I just have to fine tune it and tweak it and maybe pivot my workouts or work on my mindset work or start a new book or whatever, okay? It's not all or nothing. It's just the small things seem like they're insignificant and like they don't compound. It's the small things, you guys, that do create the biggest waves. It's true, 100%, totally. Well, anyway, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Sorry about the F-bombs, but you know, sometimes they just need to live there. And this is who I am. Jesus still loves me. It's all good. Okay, okay, so... Four weeks for everybody. Are you doing it? <clears throat> Are you doing a different program? Let us know. Last night was Wednesday and we have our evening 90 day agreement check-in and I didn't talk about it much because 
to be honest, I was kind of hoping no one was going to show up because <laughs> I wasn't feeling good. But I got on in my pajamas and none of you showed up, which is, you know, I didn't talk about it. So that's cool. No big deal. I will be there. I will be on Zoom every Wednesday night uh, through the end of the year, unless it's like a holiday or something, holding space for you. So if you need to visit, if you need to chat, if you need to tweak something and you just want some advice, if you want to not talk, but get on and have accountability with a workout or a meditation or something else. I got you, boo-boo. Cool, cool. I don't know if we'll tweak the time because I feel like there's just really no perfect time at night. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I do know that we're on the right track and that even if this has been herky-jerky start-stop for you, you are, you're on the right path, okay? So trust yourself enough to do the next right thing, show up to it, and then throw yourself a freaking parade for doing your best and surrendering the rest, right? Right. Excellent. Okay. Going to finish my unicorn juice. I have some mail I'm putting together. For some of you, I promised you samples like 500 years ago. I'm going to get those in the mail today. I'm going to do my book of proof. I'm going to meditate. I'm going to follow up on your messages. Um, if you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'm excited for you and I'm proud of you and you belong here. <laughs>